Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tatiana Alexandria and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm coming to you guys with my updated skincare routine of 2023. So I've been using these products lately and have been seeing so many great results and I just love them so much. So the first thing I'm showing you guys today is the Natrium Neosinamide Cleansing Jelly 3%. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Next is the Neosinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2%. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E as well. Next, the Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil, these Mask a Bag Green Tea Hybrid Eye Gel Mask to go under your eyes, and then the Topicals Like Butter Face Mask, and then also a Pink Ice Roller. So first things first, I'm going to go in and damp my face with some warm water all over for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go in with the Topicals Like Butter Face Mask. Yes, I put my face mask on first. I love doing this. I've been doing this for like over a year now and have been seeing so many great results. By putting my face mask first, to each its own, you can do whatever steps you want to do it in, but these are the particular steps that I do. I will also be putting all the products I'm showing you today in the description box below. So as you can see, I'm just taking a good little amount, spreading it evenly over my whole face with like this new cleansed makeup brush that I got from Walmart. And I only use this brush to apply my face mask. So like I said, I'm just applying it evenly on my face. And I really, really love this face mask. It's super affordable. And Topicals is an amazing brand. This face mask leaves my face super moisturizing and soft and cleansed after I use it and plump. And I just love it so much. It doesn't really have a smell to it either. And also it's super affordable. And I just really, really love this mask. So if you want your face to feel like literally like butter, like the name, definitely check out this face mask. I 10, 10 highly recommend. And Topicals also has a lot of other amazing body care and skincare products as well. So definitely go check them out. And it's a female black owned brand. So it's a win win. So as you can see, I just put this on for a few minutes and then I let it sit on my face 10 to 20 minutes and then I wash it off all over with warm water. But this is how it's looking after I'm done applying it to my face. It's looking so shiny and moisturized and it's just so glow. So as you can see, I'm saying leave it on for like 10 minutes or so and then I wash it off under warm water when it, once it's done sitting for those 10 to 20 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to go on with the Natrium Face Cleanser. And I love the jelly-like consistency. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this because a little does go a long way with this. And as you're rubbing it in on your face, it starts getting a little bit bigger, if that makes sense. Like it starts expanding and stuff like that. I really, really like this cleanser because it gives my face... This natural good cleanse. It doesn't feel like it's stripping my face of its natural oils. And it has got my face super clear over the past few months that I've been using it. Of course, I have a ways to go, but it has been showing a lot of good results in a short amount of time. And I really, really loved it. So now I'm just taking the face cleanser and just going over my whole face, my nose, cheeks, forehead everywhere for a few minutes and if you need to add a little bit of water as you're applying the face mask I mean not face mask the face cleanser you can but you guys it feels so good on my skin and I just really really love Natrium skincare so if you haven't tried out any Natrium skincare definitely check it out I really really like it it's super affordable so after I leave it on for a few minutes about five minutes or so I washed it off as well under warm water for a few minutes, just making sure I get it all off of my face. And after I wash it off, my face feels so cleansed and moisturized and glowing. And I love that for me and my skin. So after that, I'm gonna go in with the Natrium Serum. So I just do a few squirts, rub it together in my hands as shown here really good consistency a little goes a long way and of course I shake it up before I apply as well 
and then I just put it all over my face for a few minutes make sure I'm rubbing it in really really good and y'all look at that glow already like it's such a good glow it's not super sticky it doesn't leave like a weird white film on your face or anything like that a little goes a long way it is super affordable I also want to get my hands on the natrium vitamin C serum as well I heard that was really good too But yeah, y'all yeah, be raving about the Natrium body washes and stuff. Y'all need to go check out their skincare. Cause like y'all look at the glow, honey. Looking so good. Moisturized and glowy. So next I'm going for my like moisturizer. It is the Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil. I swear by this. I've been using this oil for about two years or so now. Like I really, really love it. It just gives you that good backup natural glow on top of the Natrium Serum. My face doesn't feel too heavy or sticky or anything like that. It feels just right. They pair really, really great together and leave my face super moisturized, glowing, soft, supple, and so cute. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention earlier, I do have oily skin just for reference, but I'm pretty sure anybody with any skincare combination can use this routine. And y'all, look at that glow. It just looks so good and refreshing and I really, really love it. And if y'all have tried any of these products, comment below and please let me know how y'all like them. And let me know some of the things that y'all use in y'all skincare routine. But my last step is I'm going in with this pink ice face roller that I got off Amazon. Super affordable. I really, really love doing this technique. Because it just locks in all of the moisture. It gives this good, cool sensation over my skin for my last step in my skincare routine and yeah you guys it just feels so amazing i rub it all over my whole face for a few minutes on my nose forehead cheeks chin everywhere and it really does help with my light eye bags as well so definitely try out using like face rollers and ice rollers and things like that because i swear once you start using it you will not want to go back And also, I let my pink ice roller parts, the part I roll on my face, I leave it in the freezer overnight, every night, and just use that as I go. When I'm done with it, I put it back in the freezer. So, actually, this is the last step of my skincare routine. I don't use eye mask every day. I use them like every other day. But this is how it looks. It's like an aloe type of eye mask. Sometimes I use different ones but i love them i'll leave them off for a few minutes and it really helps with my eye base as well but this is the end of my skincare routine look at my skin it looks so so good i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching comment below let me know how you like the video make sure you like comment subscribe and follow me on my social media link below i hope y'all enjoyed the video love you guys so much and see you guys in my next video